Star Wars Girl, and today I am going to be talking about KOTOR and the High Republic. So I did a video, uh, you know, a day or two ago where I covered the leaks about how KOTOR is, you know, getting uh, either a sequel, you know, KOTOR 3, or a remake based on this one podcast called The Best Bin Bulletin, and one of the guys who is on the podcast and his he goes by the alias Bez Ben Bolton. He, by the way he talked about it, seemed to work in the industry. He talked about scripts that he was reading, how he read the script for the new Dune movie and how it's like bl the new Blade Runner movie. And then he talked about how there's no a new KOTOR game in the works that's not by EA, it's not by Bioware, but it's happening. And it's been happening since 2019. Now, I did a video on that. You can go watch it. Link is in the description of the video. Uh, if you want to go see that, see all the information on that. Now, this is actually uh, says the opposite, obviously, from this headline. KOTOR is dead. Long live Knights of the Old uh, Knights of the High Republic. As a rumor of a new KOTOR game arises once more, we feel a game is set during the High Republic era would be more exciting. Now, uh, I was sent this. If you ever want me to read something, you ever want me to cover a topic, let me know in, you know, the comment section of my videos or, you know, uh, at me on Twitter or email me and I will do my best to cover the topic. Now, uh, I got tagged in this and I got sent it and uh, somebody left me a comment about it. Uh, this was what I was sent from Twitter. And uh, this is the gentleman that wrote it. It said, I wanted to write about Star Wars, so I wrote this thing about KOTOR and the High Republic repost from earlier today. And then, you know, it's people going, uh, y you know, like this art garbage article, speak for yourself because I don't know who the fuck this we is that you are talking about. That was a little abrasive, but uh, I feel the sentiment, like, who wants a High Republic game versus a another KOTOR game? I don't. I, I haven't met a single Star Wars fan that has said that. Uh, so the, this, again, do not contact this guy. Don't bother him. Don't add him. Leave him alone. Whatever you want to say, say in the comment section of this video. Uh, it just says section editor of strategy content at uh, PC Games as Bulletin uh, Network. Fluggy. I say a lot of things. So this is just an opinion piece. There's no facts, it's just speculation based on this one guy's opinion. And uh, I, I feel like a lot of people, uh, especially since it's not specified anymore on this, if this is actual journalism, I mean, I did a video earlier today, if you haven't checked it out, go check it out, how, you know, I talked about somebody just, it, it's basically just a blog of somebody voicing their opinions about, you know, the Star Wars fandom and how it's toxic, and in, it's presented in a way now where it's actual journalism as compared to, you know, labeling itself an editorial, like that article that I covered earlier, it, like the, the editor was the one that called it a blog. So it's like you have to go find your research or you have to go do your research on this actual thing because the people that are writing these, they're not labeling them correctly. So it's just, you know, you read this and people get mistaken and think that it's actual journalism as compared to just an opinion piece and, you know, an editorial um, and or a blog post. So that's basically what this is. It's just this guy's opinion on it so I mean I guess I can read a little bit of it to you guys but honestly it you know it's you know those few weeks since Izzy announced the uh, revival of LucasArts and the form Lucas Games and so it's basically just going over stuff and honestly it's it's like how I do here on my channel I see a piece of news and I give my opinion on it now I don't advertise myself as a news channel like people don't come to me to find oh what is the definitive news on this subject I just talk about the news and I give my opinions 
based on information that comes my way. I'm based on in information that I find while doing my research on things. And I've said that over again, over again. My videos are just me voicing my opinion on something, you know? And I feel like the most interesting thing in this article is the sticker that says Bowie's Burgers, because, you know, I'm a huge David Bowie fan. This is interesting. I want to know what, I want to know more about Bowie's Burgers. But uh, this is basically just someone talking about you know, the, the news that I covered and uh, talking about, you know, the KOTOR, th you know, I, I believe uh, the dream of KOTOR 3 is dead. This is this person's opinion. They, they don't think KOTOR 3 is happening. Hope is not lost, though, and some kind of KOTOR-style RPG does seem likely. It's massively popular genre, and the genre currently is being served uh, in the recent crop of Star Wars games. We've got multiplayer games like Battlefront 2, it's just going over, you know, stuff. But so, uh, here we go, like, right there. So let's indulge ourselves in a bit of wanton speculation of our own Knights of the Ultra, uh, Knights of the High Republic, anyone. Gotta keep correcting myself. So, you know, it talks a little bit about the High Republic and, you know, the Acolyte TV show that's coming out and this High Republic era and some of the you know, bad guys from the High Republic era. I did a video on those bad guys as well yesterday. Go check the video out if you'd like to. Uh, it, it's just... This, this, again, it's just, this is just this dude's opinion piece, and I appreciate everyone sending me this. Uh, it, I think that it, it is an issue now, and I've noticed it more and more the more I cover news. It's that, you know, people don't advertise their articles as... Yeah, well, I feel like they they try to advertise it as this is the news, this is what's happening, we have these leaks or these sources, and, you know, A, B, and C, that's why I'm writing this article. As compared to stuff, like, this is a lot more straightforward that this is a person's, you know, editorial, it's their opinion piece. But, I, you know, I've seen other times and I've covered other uh, instances where where it's been like, no, this is the news, This, these are my sources, this is why this is happening, and they don't ever have any type of work cited, they don't have any type of reference. This person does have, you know, a bit of reference here, you know, they, they quote things like the Space Vikings, that was in the actual High Republic live stream where uh, Justina Ireland, you know, refers to them as kind of like Space Vikings. So this person obviously is paying attention, this is just, you know, their opinion on, you know, their speculation on how it would be interesting to have a High Republic game versus a KOTOR game. Now, when I did my video on, you know, the revival or the possibility of a KOTOR 3, that, it, even though the person didn't have any type of work cited, it was from the Bespin Bulletin, and like I said earlier, the guy on it seems to be working in the industry. Like, the other two guys that were are the co-hosts of it, their names, their, you know, first full full first and last names are on there. The other guy goes by an alias, and the way he kind of talked about his job, it seems like he works in the industry. He's talking about reading these movie scripts. So it gives you the impression that he is somebody that, you know, his words have a little bit more merit behind it, which is why so many articles were covering that podcast. And I listened to the whole thing, and even I got that impression that this guy is working in the industry, so there might be something to what he's saying. Whereas this, again, it's just an opinion piece that somebody wrote, and they they have every right to, you know, you can do whatever you want pretty much on the internet. Uh, you can write your opinion pieces, and there's plenty of websites that do that, that release editorials all the time, or blogs all the time. So I just wanted to kind of clarify that, because again, I got emailed this, I got tagged this, I got, you know, comments about this article. So I just wanted everyone to know, you know, it's not like the High Republic game is definitive. Uh, I mean, if they did a High Republic game and it, uh, they took the opportunity to make something awesome, more power to them. But again, this is just a speculation opinion piece and, you know, kind of talks a little bit, you know, about KOTOR and how KOTOR was great, but they want something different, or there is the speculation of all of these things that they could do, and giving, again, a little bit of backstory on both the High Republic and the Old Republic eras in Star Wars. So, I just kind of want to talk about this. Uh, let me know what you think in, uh, you know, the comment section of this video. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, that's okay too. If you want to actually go and read 
uh, this little blog. The link for it is in the description of this video. And until next time, everyone, I hope you have a great rest of your day, morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. And may the force be with you because we are really, really, really going to need it. Bye, everyone. What's up, everyone? It's Anna, also known as that Star Wars girl, and I have an Etsy store, so if you've ever wanted to own a print of my artwork, this is the place to go. As you can see, I have a lot of recognizable characters, from horror films, to heroes, to Star Wars characters. Some of the notable characters I have on here are Darth Vader, which I did a couple live streams painting, so you can own a print of this painting. I also have Luke Skywalker, the binary sunset version, one of my favorite scenes in the original New Hope movie. I have Darth Maul, which Ray Parks himself actually complimented me on Instagram. And then last but certainly not least, Ahsoka Tano. So if you want to own any of these prints, go right on over to my Etsy store. Again, that's the art of Anna, that Star Wars girl, or TSWG for short. Thank you everyone and have a great rest of your day.